In 2021, I worked on a really cool project where I had the opportunity to go to Italy and study the vernacular architecture of Liguria, specifically Cinque Terre. And this is a region in the far northwest of Italy. And Cinque Terre is a series of five towns that was popularized by Rick Steves, a tourism writer. And what we're looking at now is not one of the towns of Cinque Terre, but a town called Tellaro that is on the Gulf of La Spezia. And I photographed this from a boat that I rented, and I sailed it past this town, taking photographs of it, because drones are not permitted in the national park that is Cinque Terre. And I didn't want to break any national or regional laws while I was in Italy. And I also wanted to get a sense of these towns as they were meant to be seen, that is, from the ocean, from the water. So I rented this boat, and I sailed by all the towns of the Cinque Terre, as well as some other towns like Porto Venere and Tellaro and La Spezia, and I took photographs of them. And what we're looking at now is the 3D models in Agisoft Metashape, and you're getting a sense of the 3D surface model. But I took all those photographs and I used the 3D Gaussian splatting method that you've seen probably in a few of my other videos because I really wanted to use this advantage that 3D Gaussian splatting has over photogrammetry, which is the ability of it to capture this unbounded scene. So here we're able to see much more of the extents of what I photographed, such as the hillside in the background, the rocks in the foreground, even some of the sky, that is not captured in the photogrammetry model. And I left in, in other words, I didn't edit these. I wasn't cute with the camera, so I didn't try and hide some of the imperfections of the 3D Gaussian splatting, which is, if there's not a photograph of it, it doesn't exist. So you can see here some of the, the unity water is visible through the Gaussian point cloud. And I decided to leave some of those imperfections in here so you can really get a sense of what 3D Gaussian splatting is good for and where it maybe is not as good. And I think these videos, these three shots that I've set up, sort of will give you a sense of what 3D Gaussian splatting can be used for. That has been kind of a constant question. It's, okay, well, how is this better than photogrammetry? What is what is the practical use here? And I think one of those practical uses, once a lot of the automation uh, is handled, in other words, you don't have to spend your time processing these point clouds, you can just give them to an automated service and they'll it'll run for you. One of those uses is these kind of 3D memories. So I took tons of photos of these places, but I didn't take any video. Yet I can now go back and kind of explore these scenes in 3D in a way that is really impossible to do with the still images that I took, at least not in a synthetic, cohesive way. Of course, I can scroll through them, but it's tons of photos you don't get a sense of the overall scene, of the overall feel of these towns like you do when you're looking at this 3D model or this video moving through the 3D model. So I think that's one of the potential future uses of these Gaussian splatted or neural radiance field visualizations will be kind of this idea of three-dimensional memories or three-dimensional images in the in the real sense more so than being a 3d model so i'll stop talking for a little and you can enjoy the scenery if you have any questions or comments leave them on the video and i'll do my best to reply see you next time